about to head to the next one. everybody. Uh, thank you so, so much. We are so humbled that so many people do what we're doing is worthwhile. Uh, I can think back to every face in this site right now helping us on our journey. Uh, I want to start by thanking Jim Birmingham, our first investor. He found me when I was a kid with a backpack and loud mouth. Threw $150,000 at me and said, go make this happen. Uh, six years later, uh, I think this is our moment. So I'm going to keep this short and sweet. Uncharacteristic for me. Let's talk about the rocket. Uh, this rocket is named Gold Chain Cowboy. It is 900 pounds, it is 10 inches in diameter, and it is 21 feet tall. It will be from 0 to 22,000 pounds of thrust in approximately 15 milliseconds. After a second and a half, it will taper down to its same phase, about 10 seconds of 11,000 pounds of thrust. The max mass of the vehicle will be about Mach 5.1. That will happen about 40,000 feet above ground level. At this point, we are good to go. Uh, this is a very, very exciting moment for our company. If we cross the common line, we will be number nine U.S.-funded space startup to do it. So, big, big deal for us, and thank you for being a part of it. At this point, we're going to enter our final launch tour, and then we will enter our start sequence, and the computer will count down from there. Thank you, everybody, for joining, and uh, stay on. This is the flight director. All systems are go. Vehicle is armed. Confirm green range. Copy, range green. Vehicle is on turn power. Go for auto sequence start. All systems are go. We are at two minus. 5.6. Stand by for D-spin. D-spin, activated. I think we got it too. 
passing 300,000 people. Let's go, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Both computers confirmed the nose cone's off. Nose cone is off. Drove is deployed. We're at 95,000 feet. <laughs> the carbon line, for reference, is 326 or 6, six. thank you. Mach 5.2, right, yeah. is what we saw, so that's exactly what we were expecting. So that's hypersonic, so five times the speed of sound. Uh, vehicle survived, as you saw, it made it all the way up to space. Um, very nominal trajectory on the way up, excellent boost. So by all accounts, the, the flight up was, was perfect. Uh, and even on the way down, things were fairly nominal. We're going to look at what happened with the, uh, the recovery deployment, but we are confident that the vehicle separated, which is good, excellent. Uh, it slowed down, right? Uh, it came down. We have a very precise location of where it uh, landed. Quarter mile off the road. Yep. It's within, within the circle that we anticipate, anticipated it to be in. Um, so we're going to initiate the recovery effort here after we talk. Uh, but by all accounts, it looks like we're going to get hardware back and uh, we'll have good data for this flight. Huge win for Evolution today. Um, great work by everybody on the team. Uh, and I want to, again, thank everybody for being here. Uh, it's been a really cool experience. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed it. Um, but truly amazing. And uh, congratulations, Steve, and all of Evolution. Team win. Yeah, no, that's, that's really all I have. We wanted to kind of wrap up everything together so everybody understands. Does anybody have any questions, comments? Okay, let me make a comment. Yeah, so. Um, I know there's a lot of people here who have been part of the success, um, but I just want to tell you, Steve, without so many times he could have stopped. I mean, just called it quit. Uh, there was plenty of opportunity to do that, but without Steve spearheading this, this would never have happened. Amen, Steve, so yes. I just want to give a round of applause to Steve. No one would be here without his tenacity. Thank you very much, Steve, for letting us come along with the ride. I love you, buddy.